In our area, you can see the Fox Valley is experiencing a severe drought on the latest map from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. This report does not include recent rain, but gives some perspective into how our state is doing right now. New at 530, Emily Roberts spent the day at a farm in Grand Chute feeling the heat. The Peterson farm is feeling the effects of the drought firsthand. You can see here they grow hundreds of acres of corn, alfalfa, and soybeans. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration reports the drought conditions reach more than 90% of our state, including thousands of farmers. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, 86% of Wisconsin corn is impacted by dry weather right now. That could mean a less successful harvest. Farmer Mark Peterson says his corn crops are really short right now, creating a guessing game as to when pollination could happen. He uses a majority of the corn in his fields to feed his cows. You want to make sure you have enough feed, of course, uh, to keep the cows fed. There's no doubt about it. And, uh, cause, uh, and, and if you have to buy it, it's very expensive at this time because of the weather conditions as well. Peterson thinks the drought is so widespread, you could end up paying more for your vegetables at the grocery store. In Outagamie County, Emily Roberts, Action 2 News. Taking a live look at our